Video game controllers are a really cool way to interact with digital twins. There's a lot of ways to use them in Isaac Sim. The demo scenes that come with Isaac Sim, they give you the source code and the action graphs to work with so you can understand how to adapt them for your own projects. Start off with this scene you're looking at now. Go to simulation and demo scenes. And if you look under character controller, you get two. This is the action graph one. If we hit play, all I've done is turned on my controller and it already sees this as an input source. So I can zoom around here. Now what's slightly more interesting here is I can't go over the edge. So it's using a capsule as a collider so I can run into things and I don't go through them, which can be very useful. Um, you can also turn on and off gravity. You also get this option open source, which is really cool because now you can figure out how they did it. And I would recommend using this open file and default editor button because this pulls up the code in VS Code. Right click on the action graph, click open. There's a couple events here. They're spawning a capsule, which is used as the collider, like I mentioned. And then they have a character controller and they're activating it on simulation start and then they're deactivating on stop they're getting whatever camera you have open here and they have some control settings to map uh, to some keyboard controls um, the gamepad controlling is just done under the hood i didn't set any of that up for this example this is the python one and if we hit play it's a different scene and i can move around with the gamepad uh, if you see there's some parameters down here i set the gamepad sensitivity lower and it's much easier to to be precise with it lower if you check it out that cursor can effectively select something in the scene and then if i hit the left mouse button it'll apply an impulse to it i can hit open source again i'm going to hit open file and default editor and check this out. I can actually see the demo and all the source code for it. Okay, so we pulled up the demo scenes window before. That's not where all the demo scenes are. So if we go to Isaac examples and then input devices in Kaya gamepad, and after a little bit of time, this loaded. And if we hit play, now I can drive this wonderful, adorable little robot around, which is really fun. So let's hit open source code and it pulls this up in my default editor we can look at how they did this. Uh, I think this one also has an action graph that's doing a lot of the work. So that's our other place to look. And yeah, this is where most of the work's being done. Here we have some gamepad inputs. So like here's the left stick x-axis, here's x-axis. They're using all this data to populate these controller nodes. And so if you have a robot that fits one of these patterns, and if you go into nodes here, or we can just search controllers. If one of these fits your use case, you may be able to just snap some nodes together and have something working really fast. And the last tip I'll give you is that if you download the SDK and open that and save the S code, you can search through everything. And so if you find one of these controllers you're interested in and you either look at the demo or between that and the SDK, you can find a lot of interesting little nuggets to work with. If you want to talk more about digital twins, hit us up. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.